Well, for more on the UK's new prime minister and what's ahead, we'll cross now to our London correspondent, Benedict Pavio. Good morning, Benedict. So what do you think uh, is coming up for Liz Truss today? Of course, her first full day on the job. Yes, Liz Truss, uh, the 15th Prime Minister uh, under Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it's the first full day, as you say, uh, on the job. Of course, number 10 uh, now has a new occupant, and it is Liz Truss's uh, new home and new office. Uh, much to do, very, very full entry. Uh, this morning, she will have uh, shortly a cabinet meeting, her first uh, as uh, new prime minister. Uh, then there will be, I think, we'll hear a few more appointments. Uh, she hasn't quite finished uh, establishing her new government team. Uh, and then she will head for her first clash encounter. Uh, it's, I think, going to be fiery in the House of Commons. Uh, the House of Commons that has come back from recess, uh, that is sitting since uh, Monday, and where, amongst other people, she will, at Prime Minister's questions for uh, at least half an hour, be facing questions from lawmakers, both from her party, the Conservative Party, governing party, uh, and also the opposition. Uh, Sir Keir Starmer uh, is entitled, the leader of the opposition, the Labour uh, Party, is entitled to six questions. He usually asks them back uh, to back. Uh, he is a man who has described her as not on the side of working people. She has described him in the last few weeks uh, as somebody she wouldn't like to be uh, in a lift with, um, stuck in a lift with, because uh, he is so, quote, boring. Uh, the Liberal Democrats uh, are no friend of hers either. They've already called yesterday for a general election. That doesn't need to happen for the latest uh, another two years. But certainly uh, a very challenging time at this time of 10.1% uh, inflation here in the United Kingdom in the midst of an absolutely huge cost of living crisis where people are who have jobs and who are, for example, paid £45,000 a year simply have no idea how they are going to pay their exorbitant electricity and gas bills that have soared multiplied by two or three times. So the gaze is very much on pressure on her and her new chancellor, the first black chancellor of the United Kingdom, quasi Carting. She has really made a government up full of her allies uh, and purged any Rishi Sunak supporters. But she has, interestingly, uh, included uh, some of her leadership arrivals, like Tom Tugendhat at uh, Security, also Penny uh, Mordant and Kemi Badenoch. So some names to, to look at. A very diverse team, the most diverse that the United Kingdom has ever seen with ministers whose parents come from East Africa, uh, the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, uh, she, her parents came from India. So very interesting and much to look at and analyse in the coming days. So, Benedict, a lot of, 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 of things to say about the composition of, of, her, of her government, but as you said, all eyes are going to be on those impending crises in the United Kingdom, inflation, the cost of living. So what is on her economic agenda then? Well, we expect um, she's given no specifics. She didn't give any specifics during the seven-week Tory leadership battle. We thought she might give some when she was elected Tory leader uh, on Monday. She didn't. We thought she might give some specifics at least uh, yesterday in her first address to the nation as she came uh, for the first time as Prime Minister and addressed not just her Conservative uh, members, but now pivoted uh, to speaking to the 66 million people across the United Kingdom. No specifics. So what we're looking at, for example, is her chancellor will today, I understand, be meeting chief executives of banks. He will be uh, explaining to them behind closed doors what uh, his outlook is, what his plan is. She Liz Truss has talked about a bold economic plan. She knows, she's mentioned, by the way, her new mantra is action this day. Uh, that is something uh, that was the, uh, very much a saying that was used by a former prime minister, a conservative prime minister, a certain Winston Churchill. And people do expect action. They want financial help. They want it now. They actually wanted it a few weeks ago and are very critical of the fact that we've had what they call, critics call a zombie government led by caretaker Prime Minister Boris Johnson. So they want answers. Will she start giving in her answers to both her own party uh, lawmakers and also to the opposition? Uh, will she start giving, some, putting some flesh on that bone and how her government is in the coming days going to, and 
we hope tomorrow going to be fully presenting a financial package uh, that could mount up to £100 billion, so very considerable, bigger even than the furlough scheme during the pandemic. Uh, that is what we are waiting to see concretely, not just helping the millions of households, but also businesses. Many businesses, we are being told, cannot pay uh, their bills, uh, their electricity and gas bills, and actually face bankruptcy. These are very serious times. They require serious, specific answers. Will she deliver them? Well, Benedict will certainly have an early response to that at the Prime Minister's questions grilling session. I'm sure lawmakers will press her on all of those issues. Benedict Fabio, thank you very much.